Diagnostic tests in evaluating arthritis typically start out with the history and physical exam as with any sort of patient encounter. We want to make sure that the pain that the patient is experiencing is truly arising from the joint in question. If it is arthritis, that refers to a problem within the joint itself. However, there's other problems around the joint or near the joint that can present with pain being perceived in that particular joint. So the first step with the history, in other words, talking with the patient and finding out what type of problem they're having, as well as the physical exam, examining the patient and determining where their problem is, that helps us determine if the problem is in the joint itself or if it's a referred problem from elsewhere or outside the joint. So first step is the history and physical examination. Once we've done that, there's additional diagnostic tests that we use that will help us learn a little bit more about the patient's arthritis. The first of these would be an x-ray, uh, and particularly with standing films of the knee, it will show us how much cushion is left on the joint. X-rays of the hip, knee, shoulder, et cetera, will give us a good idea of the amount of joint space remaining or any other problems involving the bone in the joint that may prevent or present as pain within the joint itself. Following that, aspirating a swollen joint, in other words, placing a needle within the joint and withdrawing fluid, allows us to examine the fluid to determine what type of arthritis or problem may be present. Those are probably the most common initial diagnostic tests that are performed on a routine basis in the orthopedic office. Beyond those basic tests, the next step may be laboratory or blood tests done by a rheumatologist or primary care doctor or even orthopedist to evaluate the patient for blood tests that may indicate rheumatoid arthritis or other types of rheumatologic conditions that may create joint problems. Following the x-rays and the routine blood tests, other diagnostic tests may include CAT scans or MRI scans.